Hello, this is Dave's Outdoor World. We're out here at the in Sterling, Illinois at the Dillon Home Museum. As you can see, the hours and uh, guided tours. We're on the uh, Sterling Bike Path, which is part of the Rock River Trail also. As you can see there in the trees, there's a Italianette type style home back there that they give tours through. And you can see it's a very beautiful place, been kept up very nicely over the years. And the Dillon Home Museum is really about Northwestern Steel and Wire Company that had ran for over a hundred years here in the Sterling Rock Falls area and at one time employed close to 5,000 people. But since then, uh, I think it was 80, 1980 or so in there, it closed its doors. And now a lot of it has uh, become historical and uh, the Dillon Home Museum is on the registry of historical places now. But you can go online for tours and they have, uh, the museum is actually back there in that building there as we look through here and then there's uh, they also have that you need to see a old steam engine that he has on display here from Northwestern Steel and Wire which was back in the day a pretty large mill probably over a mile and a half long down the Rock River and uh, as I said, employed a lot of folks back in the day and, and allowed them to support their families and much, much more. But here's the trail system. It was paved last year. And this actually comes, connects the Hennepin Canal, which where that biker's coming from. You go down underneath the railroad uh, bridge there. It takes you up over the Sinisippi Dam walkway and over onto the Hennepin Canal that goes south. Uh, 30 miles and then you run into the main canal and uh, which goes 75 miles in two directions east into the Illinois River and west into the Mississippi River so it's uh, quite the deal and it's a great great uh, place to come and bike and kayak and as you can see this is called Martin's Landing here And just a beautiful trail system if you come this way and you're coming from the Hennepin let's say and you come underneath the railroad bridge and come around here then you're gonna go oh a mile and a half or so into Sinisippi Park which is a beautiful park in itself with shelter and restrooms and then you're gonna cross over a little creek bridge and you're gonna run around to Hoover Park it'll end at Hoover Park and you can look that up online and find Hoover Park in Sterling, Illinois, if you like. But from the Hennepin, it's about 2.5 miles and it's all paved. And the Hennepin Canal is paved for about three miles or so. But, um, and then it's uh, limestone rock. And you have a parking spot here too to park at if you want to ride the trails. And, uh, like I said, guided tours, and this is in Sterling, Illinois. We're going to walk down over underneath the railroad bridge here and give you a little shot of, of the trail system here. But if you want more information, you can go to davesoutdoorworld.com. Uh, we also have some kayak groups in the area, some biking groups, camping, campgrounds, hotels, right along the bike path on the Hennepin. So there's plenty of places to stay. Uh, you have Crystal Lake RV Park and Campground, has go-kart track, uh, swimming lake with beach, RV spots, the whole nine deal there.
line. This is the railroad bridge that we're crossing under here. And then you're looking at the Rock River here in front of us. That's a national water trail. You can go find out information and uh, mapping uh, there at therockrivertrail.com. But here's a picture of the uh, Sinisippi Dam walkway that goes over here. You see bikers come down there. And there's the dam that stretches the walkway that stretches across the Rock River. The hydro plant there. Uh, this was originally built. Uh, the dam was to raise the water level there so that about 12, 13 inches so that it could feed the uh, Hemp and Canal feeder system there which starts right there in front of the dam and as I said is about a 30 mile uh, long feeder system about three to four foot deep some good fishing there's a bike path that long runs along it and connects uh, uh, is connects up with the Grand Illinois trail system See the bikers going across there. You really, uh, they ask you to walk across there, but many people ride across there. walk up here a little bit further but we're still on uh, the Sterling Park side Sterling trail system which from this point to Hoover Park is a beautiful ride but it's about 2.5 miles maybe almost three it's all paved and beautiful ride but here, uh, I want to show you real quick before we get out of here though, across the way there they will be having the river chase, which is boat races, um, right over there. And you'll want to come, it's the 27th and 28th of June, here in Rock Falls, Illinois, and they'll run it between the two dams here. And uh, they're expecting a large crowd this year. And it's a perfect place to have something just like that. So you want to be sure and look that up called the River Chase. They're on Facebook and you can check in uh, at Rock Falls City also. But if you're looking for outdoor gear and more information and you want to join a group over here of kayaking and biking and camping, uh, just go to davesoutdoorworld.com and I have my link to my meetup group and my uh, outdoor community also. You'll see that as soon as you go in there. But if you're looking for outdoor gear, click there. Uh, I support uh, quite a few outdoor companies uh, that de deal in outdoor gear and that helps to support Dave's Outdoor World and all my volunteer work that I do also on the side. But here's the gazebo, part of Martin's Landing. As you can tell it's a beautiful place here. And there's the Rock River looking back east. And then you come up here, it's all paved and you cross over the Mississippi Walkway Dam here. We're going south and we're going to be going south across the river, the Rock River. And as I said, you got 30 more miles of biking um, and 30 miles of kayaking. You got hotels, Days Inn Hotel, right off the Hennepin Canal Trail. I mean, maybe uh, 50 feet away from the trail and an entrance going into it. So then you got restaurants there, uh, Candlelight Inn, uh, and the hotel itself has a restaurant that you can stay in. And if you want to bike and kayak all day long, and then right across from there is Crystal Lake RV park and campground with the go-kart track. Um, 
lake swimming, beach, music, food, and tent camping and uh, room for your RVs. It's just started this year. He just built onto that this year and he's going to expand some more. And you can go to Crystal Lake One, the number one, dot com. C R Y S T A L, Lake. So there's plenty to do out here, plenty of restaurants, plenty of uh, places to go have a drink. Uh, then across the river is Sterling, Illinois, on the uh, north side, a beautiful town in itself. Uh, they also have uh, done a lot of restoration over there and continue to do. Uh, plenty of things to do over there. You got the old Lincoln home. Uh, as I just showed you, you got the Dillon Home Museum. And then you go to Dixon, which is about 13 miles uh, east on the river here, with no portages. You can go 13 miles from Rock Falls Sterling upriver. And then you've got Ronald Reagan's uh, childhood home with the $7 million riverfront and bars and restaurants right on the riverfront. Uh, so nice beautiful park there, uh, Page Park, and uh, you can see all the uh, historical stuff in Dixon. Uh, Abraham Lincoln was out here in the Black Hawk War. On up the river, you've got Black Hawk himself, the, one of the largest monolithic statues in the, in the world. Uh, over 50 feet tall, overlooking the Rock River. So I could go on and on and on, and you got Maxon's uh, Steakhouse and uh, Hotel there, uh, Paddle Wheel, up in Oregon, Illinois, look that up. Uh, you can go on a paddle wheel ride out on the Rock River. Um, you can't beat it. I mean, there's plenty to do over a weekend here in our towns, in the Tri-City area here, and I could tell you about a lot of other places too, including Tampico, Illinois, uh, which is only 10 miles from here uh, south of us. Um, that's the birthplace of Ronald Reagan and uh, a wonderful place in its own right and uh, you would have to go there if you want to do the Ronald Reagan trip uh, stop in there and see the bank where he actually deposited his uh, their money the family's money you can see the drafts from it uh, in the upstairs area where Ronald Reagan uh, in the apartment where Ronald Reagan was born so uh, and then you go the Dixon and the childhood memory so and all along you can be kayaking and biking and enjoying the great outdoors here so this is just a small piece of the of the pie here in the Sterling Rock Falls Dixon area uh, but like I said on the other side here uh, we're looking uh, we're looking west you get on the, there's two dams here the upper and lower dam once you get past that you can launch at uh, Lawrence Park, and you can kayak about four hours, almost eight miles, down to Crow Valley Campground. CrowValleyCampground.com, right on the river, RV sites, tent camping, swimming pool. So, and then right past that is Prophetstown State Park. So, with camping and RV spots and a boat launch. So you've got uh, along this river here, you got plenty to do. Uh, I did not mention uh, all of them and just bear with me and if you're going to Dixon or coming from Dixon 13 miles down the river, uh, there's Moonlight Bay and Marina. Uh, they'll, uh, you can park your boat there at the boat docks and go in for a great meal and some refreshments. Uh, it's a bar and restaurant marina, and uh, it's a fantastic place. As a matter of fact, that's where we stay at in our RV there the last couple years. And they're open uh, every day of the week till about 11 or 12 o'clock. Well, they're open, I guess they're open till pretty late at night. So, But you always want to call uh, in advance if you can, if you're coming out late or whatnot. But Moonlight Bay and Marina, then you have the Rock River Country Club, a golf course sits right on the Rock River, uh, bar and restaurant, great food, and uh, so that's open to the public now, and certainly want to check that out. The River's Edge is up in Dixon, right on the river, so we have two or three restaurants as you float down that if you want to stop in 
and uh, see and enjoy, then you certainly can. But for more information, you can go to the rockrivertrail.com uh, where you can find maps of the whole Rock River, 320 miles of it. You can also go to my website, davesoutdoorworld.com. And if you're here in the area looking for kayak rentals, forgot to say, uh, Dave's Outdoor World rents kayaks. And so just go to my website, click on kayak rentals. You can get all the information there that you want and give me a call. 815-716-3366. This is Dave's Outdoor World. And we're going to leave you with a little view here. A boating on the Rock River. Don't forget, friends, plenty of places to stay here in the Tri-City area, hotels, campgrounds, restaurants, historical sites to see, and plenty to keep you and your family busy and safe. So come out and visit the area, stay a while, and we'll show you around. This is Dave's Outdoor World. Have a great day.